Welcome back, my name is Therese and I'm very much alive. Am I? You decide. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth where sometimes, just sometimes, I tend to use the word fuck as a comma. I know, it's disgusting and I should be stopped, but I haven't, I'm here, you're here. Happy holidays. If you're not into that or weird stuff in general or holiday cheer, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul. But I'll remember our time fondly. Y'all, I am so excited because this was kind of an impromptu idea that I had. And uh, I was like, you know what? Let's kind of recap 2020 because I am going to be putting out a best of and worst of. But let's roast some stuff, you know? <laughs> 2020 was an, an awful garbage fire of a year. So why not end it on a really high note and make fun of things? Please remember that this is all in good fun, okay? Like this is all in good fun. If you like any of the products that I'm talking about, if you deem them the most beautiful thing in the world, that's cool. I am so happy for you. And I wish, I wish I had that childlike wonder. You have no idea, but it's okay to have differing opinions. And again, this is a roast. Don't take it personal and these brands they don't care about you. So don't get all weird in the comments being like, I love them. They don't love you back, okay? Like, I don't know who needs to hear that, but I'm pretty sure there's at least 17% of you that do. Just remember that. With that said, <laughs> Wow, we are starting in hot today, boys. All right, with that said, let's talk about, in no particular order, because I am a Libra and that's unfair to me, the 10 ugliest makeup releases in the year 2020. Ready? Okay, Too Faced. <laughs> Too Faced. All right, so this is the Too Faced Cinnamon Bear. Listen, usually I can say, well, their products and morals are often questionable. Their packaging is fucking stunning. It really is. But this, what the fuck is this? First of all, this is supposed to be a holiday release. Yeah, I don't get it either. But I think what bothers me the most is that gummy bears is synonymous with anal leakage. When I see this palette, I can't help but to think of Haribo sugar-free gummy bears. And from there, my asshole tightens. The whole palette is so weird and off-putting. Too Faced thought it would be an adorable idea to put a weird, dusty-looking sugar-free gummy bear mixed in a style that can only be described as getting an airbrushed t-shirt at a local church bazaar. Too Faced had the balls to ask for $39 for this release. I am so sorry if you get this for the holidays because it really shows that the person that purchased this for you doesn't give a shit about you. The next palette I want to talk about is the Sephora Wild Wishes palette. The birth control of all palettes. This has to be the ugliest palette that came out this year. It's kind of a throw to the palettes you would receive when you were a kid, when you wanted to be like mommy and play dress up. Just, you know, minus the asbestos. Including teeny tiny brushes that they think are acceptable to apply makeup with. Yikes. I'm not sure what's more offensive. The tiny, tiny, tiny pans. The fact that you need at least three hands to hold this. The horrible repetition of shades. This fucking Christmas cougar that's stalking its prey. Or the fact that this shit costs $50. Let's just say it's all of the above. This is the true definition of, so I hear you like makeup. And if you also get this for the holidays, you might as well run away now. The next palette is from Huda Beauty and that is the Naughty Palette. Mm. So Huda came out with the most horrifying palette of 2020. Just when you thought it couldn't get worse, Huda releases a shade in a palette that is fucking nightmare fuel. This is such a weird release because while I'm not gonna lie, the gelato shades, those interest me. I don't know. Something about a swirl in that makes me think of like a caramel ribbon crunch. I'm all about it. But it gets ruined when I look into the lower corner and I have to play the game. Is that a bug or a shingles outbreak? Mm -hmm. I don't know. And I don't want to know. I also don't understand why or how this brand keeps releasing the same palette, but just call it a reimagining. I call it plain old lazy. This brand is like that popular asshole kid in high school. They think they're the king of the fucking school until they go to college and realize they are a nobody. Colourpop wine and only. Our lord and savior Colourpop. All right, I mean, you're fucking kidding me, right? This palette has as much depth as your seventh grade poetry. 
Usually what I can say about ColourPop is, oh, at least the packaging is cute. I wouldn't buy it, but at least it's cute. This is just fucking pandering. It is so motherfucking pandering. It's pandering to all those bitches that have that live, laugh, love placard on their fucking walls and say things like, it's wine o'clock somewhere. <sighs> Fuck off. This packaging is so one note. The shades blend into the packaging so well that for a brief moment you start to think, are there even eyeshadows in this palette? Pass. So this next palette is from KKW. I don't remember the fucking name of it. I think it's like KKW, uh, my, my BFF Allison or something or other, whatever collaboration. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay, listen, listen, all right? KKW came out with a collection featuring her best friend and the brand expected the world to care. The packaging is fucking awful. It's not even done well. This is the equivalent to an eighth grade burn book, but at least the burn book is fucking interesting. Did you read what they said about Jamie? Exactly. At the same time though, I can appreciate how fucking basic this is because after all I've turned 35 and I am a basic ass bitch. However, it gets overthrown by these pictures of her being so relatable. I mean, we could all relate to that, right? Growing up in a mansion, money not being an issue, having everything you ever wanted and dreamed for right at your fingertips. Shit, this bitch probably got a Lexus or a BMW for her 16th birthday. That's relatable, right? And that's what I wanna look at when I'm applying makeup. Pictures of entitled teens with fuck you money. Yeah, I'll pass, thank you though. Well, might as well just keep it in the fucking family at this point. The next person I wanna talk about is from Kylie Cosmetics and this is the Wild Things eyeshadow palette or the Leopard Collection. I don't know, it's, it is what it is, okay? I think this has to be the contender for the weirdest fucking palette to ever be designed, but more specifically in 2020. The more I look into her dead eyes, the more I have to look away because I feel like she's trying to eat my soul. I cannot take this shit seriously. I could kind of picture it now. She was probably like, you know what would be really fucking awesome? If I can harness the magical powers of Carol Baskin with the pure sexual energy of Joe Exotic, mixed with glamour shots in the 80s, <laughs> sprinkled with the little phone sex operator advertisements in the 90s, Gucci. I thought the last palette was bad because I didn't want to look at rich, entitled kids. But when I compare it to staring into Kim K's little sister's asshole, I guess those rich kids don't look so bad now. The next one is from King Beauty Shop. What, what the fuck is this? Hi, I'm in the market for a palette that has everything. Everything? Everything. I want so much repetition that I think I'm going clinically insane when I look at it. <laughs> And for $65, you can achieve that fucking experience. Hot diggity dog. I don't know if the quality is good. It could be. But what I can say is that this palette is the most chaotic thing I have ever seen. It's like they saw Morphe's brand model and was like, fuck it, we can do that better. We got 99 shadows, but not a pigmented one. All right. <laughs> the next one is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Are we surprised? No, I don't think we are. Listen, what I will say about this brand is that the packaging in the past, their palettes have always been very interesting. However, I think we can all agree that this has been the year of the decline for the brand and rightfully so. Stylistically, I think what set the decline in packaging was the release of this very fucking weirdly designed palette. It was big, it was bulky, basically felt like you've skinned a fucking stuffed animal. And the appearance of it basically looked like a fucking drink tray from a 70s casino mixed with a crushed up pimp's hat. It's funny because I know when it comes to luxury items, sometimes it can be so ugly that it's cute. That's not the case here though. This palette is probably equivalent to those fucking Gucci inverted cat eye glasses. Yeah, I said it. It's essentially the same fucking thing. No, thank you, ma'am. Keep it moving. The next palette is from Dominique Cosmetics Latte 2 palette. Hi, can I get a palette where it looks like there's a permanent gross coffee stain on it? Thanks. Also, can you make sure there's also some weird fucking texture on it too? So every time you touch it, it just makes you feel awkward, uncomfortable, and dirty. <laughs> Thanks. 
That is my experience with this palette. This is such a departure from the brand's cute aesthetic and formula. Not only was this disappointing on the outside, but it was really fucking disappointing on the inside too. The outside packaging really is just reminiscent of coffee stains and soiled panties. Ugh. I don't like it, I don't want it, get it the fuck away from me. It's funny because when I did have the palette in my collection before I decluttered it, <laughs> uh, the more I would look into its soul, it kind of started to look less and less like coffee stains and more and more like a urine soaked mattress. So yeah, yeah memories. <laughs> Next. <sighs> I hate to do this, but we're going to have to put another Kylie Cosmetics palette on this list. I really tried my hardest to make sure brands were separate. I can't help it. This company put out some fucking gross ass shit. <laughs> That being said, I don't know what this is. This is the Kylie and Kendall collaboration. I feel weird, okay? The whole design makes me as a human being uncomfortable. I don't know if it's a theme to make really weird and questionable packaging, but definitely rounding out this list is another bop from Kylie Cosmetics. Fuck the actual products for a second, okay? Like we're not even gonna talk about those. Am I weird to think that this is, you know, you know, Incestuous, okay? Incestuous. Uh, <laughs> like, hmm? <sighs> Am I the only one that thinks this? I can't be the only one that thinks this, right? And you know what? Maybe it's a me thing. I grew up with an older brother. I don't have a sister. So maybe I'm not understanding. Maybe sisters get uncomfortably close and lay around like it's the 90s, red shoe diary style. Who am I to say otherwise? Since this video probably already got flagged. <laughs> who are we kidding? It probably did. I don't know who the target demographic is. I cannot imagine the fans of this brand and show are like, oh yeah, this is totes normal. You're doing fine, sweetie. Keep smelling your sister's neck. Close it down. There's nothing to see here. And those are my top 10 ugliest makeup releases of 2020. Let me know down below what is on your top 10 list of ugly releases this year. I hope we have some crossover. Otherwise, I feel like a huge piece of shit, which I mean I am, but whatever. I fucking own it. Anyway, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down below and um, I'll be happy to do them. <laughs> and with that said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. As always, feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon. To all my beautiful, wonderful patron bubbies, thank you so much for keeping this disgusting, filthy, trashy, shitty, garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do without you and I love your little faces and um, yeah, I just want to smush them like that. <laughs> if you want to know what is currently on my face and where to get my merch and my podcasts and all that other stuff, everything will be listed in the description box below. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.